Welcome to this tutorial and tips on Compound VR. Um, and thought I would just tell you how to kind of play the game, some of the things I've learned, some tips. Uh, first thing you want to do, I think, is go into the shooting range. Yes, you want to come in here. And I recommend you play around with some of these guns. These are going to be some of the special guns that you find in the game. Get used to them, figure out which ones you like. These blue ones here are the ones, the wall guns. You will find these, by the way, um, you will find these on the walls. The nice thing about them is uh, they are um, free. That's right, free ammo. So you never have to worry about running out of ammo. My favorite one, by the way, is this one. The uh, This is the standard pistol. You can tell, by the way, uh, how they're marked. So you see, can see this, this brown across here. But the nice thing about this is it has good range. Take a look at that. Now you now I'm doing this on the Oculus Quest. You always pick it up or release the gun with the bottom trigger. So if you have an Oculus Quest, you have the joystick, use the left bottom trigger to pick up the gun or release it. And then the fire is the top trigger. That simple. Um, this one is a little different. You'll note that there's like a brown stripe that goes up here. And I want to show you the difference, difference between these two. It's pretty critical. This one has more of a burst shot. So you get three three bullets, uh, but the range is short. Look at that. This one, I actually prefer. It gets a much greater range. So I actually prefer this one. This is my favorite wall gun right here. This one uh, shoots like a laser blast, but um, I don't really, you run out of, um, it takes a while to reload. I'm, this one's my least favorite, but this is my favorite one. It's sort of the standard wall gun. Um, and then, you know, you've got these other guns. Uh, I recommend, like, again, you have a, a, a sort of a shotgun here. And this is cool. Now, in order to reload this, you hit the bottom button. I think it's the, I forget which button this B. Uh, to reload it, you grab a shell, place it in there, and there you go. So you just hit the bottom button on the right joystick, put it back in, boom, there you go. All right, well, uh, let's go into a game. Now, the first other thing I want to show you are the three modes. These are very important. There's a easy as pie, medium rare, hard booze. I totally recommend that you start out with the easy as pie. And trust me, this is not easy, actually. It's, I, I found this actually extremely difficult. Um, and I kind of like that about this game, by the way. They make these things... Uh, uh, it's very, very difficult. I mean, I like that. I don't, I don't want to just blow. What I hate is a game where you can blow through all the modes. They're all, they're all basically easy. No, I'd rather have things that are challenging. So you just eat it, and that's what you are. Now, if I wanted the medium, just eat that, and now I'm, that's the current selected. You see, I think you see how this works. We're going to go back to easy. Now, what happens then is you're ready to go into a mission. You don't have to finish the tutorial, by the way, and you'll come in here. There's also a practice range down here. You can come in here and sort of practice. Um, these are how you eat things. It's kind of like a Coke. You'll see these things. Um, you can hit begin. I think you can spawn some of these guys. I haven't actually done this. Okay. I actually haven't done this down here. This is the first time. Let's actually grab... Actually, you know what? Let's grab this. Okay. So where are they? Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, so you, yeah, you can come down here and practice. I actually, this is the first time I've done this. I, I just skipped this all together, but this is kind of cool. So you can spawn as many guys as you want. Pretty neat. Different types of guys. Yeah. You can see how this has a bunch of range. For some reason, I can't hit him. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, and so we're going to go back up here. Return all the weapons on exit. Yeah. They don't want to steal in weapons in a video game. Okay, so we're back up here. Uh, so we're going to go back and begin mission. Now, this is critically important, the mutation dispenser. I actually didn't notice this for a while. Um, but um, oh, that's pretty funny. Okay, so these all, if you just put your finger over them, um, it'll tell you what they do. Now, you can see this one gives you the compound bow, but replaces all weapons with a bow. Um, this one, uh, it gives you weapons auto reload, but not as fast as manual. This is the, actually the one I like to use. This one, uh, you know, you, you make sure you pay attention. I guess what I'm saying here, the point is make sure you pay attention to the minus. 
He goes, oh, this looks great. All enemies die within one shot, but you die with one shot. Trying to Imagine trying to get through that. Now, maybe you want that challenge, but <laughs> you're probably not going to make it through with that type of minus. Uh, this one is actually bad, too. Uh, sure, they have less HP. You get faster bullets, but there's more enemies. So if you do want this, you press both triggers. Release it. You pick it up. Hit the top trigger. And now I've got... A mutation i've got auto reload which is actually really nice if there's one mutator i'd recommend it's that all right so we're going to go through this first floor and uh we're just going to do a couple walk through here a little bit so again you, you you grab your first weapon right off the uh you know the wall weapon this is the one i wanted by the way the longer range so you start shooting now you also want to try to get headshots if you can now you can see we got our very first special weapon now you have two options here. One is you can dual wield them like that, or you can carry two of them together, which I do. So you just hit the top button and it'll rotate between the weapons. So here I'm rotating. I usually like to use this one because I'm not gonna worry about losing ammo with this one. So use this for, uh, if you encounter more difficult enemies, you wanna use your special weapons. Now the next thing you wanna do is look at your wrist. You can see right here, this is the map. Very important. Green area is where we haven't been. Uh, it tells you how many health. Five. Um, and it'll tell you the ammo. It's color-coded, so this is red. So it's that top one, the five. That means I have five shells for my automatic, or the shotgun, sorry. Um, and so that's, that's what you can look and see how much ammo. The green is for some of the grenade launchers. Um, and then I think that you, you'll see. You'll get used to it. But just keep in mind, they're color-coded, so this isn't a green weapon, so that green ammo has nothing to do with it. It's the top one, the five one, I believe. Or no, I'm sorry, the one. I think it's this this one right here. So they're color-coded, so just keep that in mind. All right, so we'll continue going through here. We're gonna sh swift, uh, sh uh, switch weapons. Now, if we look at the map, you can see here's where we're moving, and there's probably gonna be something behind this door. There is. Uh, when you get really good, you can try to go for headshots, crits. I'm gonna try to get one here. I just took a hit. And there, you got a crit. You see they die. If you can crit them in the head, they usually die pretty quick. See? Just hit I just hit another crit. Um and let's move up here. Uh we got a drink. So now you want to keep an eye on this HP. If this gets down to one HP, you gotta watch it. Okay. And since we have the auto reload, it's picking up everything automatically for us. So again, again, you can see we're paying attention. Pay attention to that minimap. You know, really pay attention to that. And there you can see we got rid of him. And sometimes you just gotta dodge these. Uh, I'm not playing now. I'm glad I took that hit. You can see we're down to four health, but if I go to eat this cheeseburger automatically, now I'm back to five HP. So just keep in mind uh, what's going on. Okay. So, um, this is the exit. This will open up when we're clear, but clearly we've got to go through here. We can tell by the mini map we haven't cleared this area. We just critted him. And a lot of times it's good like to do what I'm just doing. You kind of step back and let them come to you. Uh, that's a key thing I want to tell you. You can see here we completed the map so the exit door opens. But a key thing is sort of keep an eye on your surroundings. Like I never, do, you never just want to rush in a room and start shooting. Best thing to do is kind of come in here, know an exit plan. Like let's say this is a more advanced map and you come in here and all this stuff comes at you. I've had it happen. You need to know, like, hey, I, okay, I need to back up here. You might have another fallback point back here. Even another one back this way. So always keep in mind your exit strategy in case you get overrun. And it will happen. Trust me. All right, so let's go to the next level. And we're on, now we're on Sewers 2. There's always two levels. Um, and the second, uh, two, uh, how do I say that? Two levels of the same type. But the second level, uh, always the more difficult one. And you'll see this. Now we've got drones. So you want to try to get rid of those drones first um, because they will come at you. So if you have drones, good to get rid of them before anything else. You can also use those exploding barrels. Uh, they are, anything explodes, you want to try to hit those and they'll do all the damage for you. And so there's a drone, you want to get rid of him. Uh, this is an auto reload that you get. So it'll reload your weapon, which is really nice. And you can see here, we're just kind of gunning these guys. See how I'm kind of just, you want to look around these corners Make sure there's nothing there. Keep going. There's a drone. Let's check the mini-map. You can see here we got a ways to go. 
It's always good to keep an eye on that mini map. Again, always get those drones first. Those drones are dangerous. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. I heard him shooting. I didn't even see him. There he was. All right. Okay, got rid of that guy. See how he backed up? I think that guy shot the drone. So that was good. There was some armor. We didn't get to it. All right, let's see what we got left on the mini map. We still got to go this. I think we got to go. Oh, no, we do have to go in there. There is something. Oh, a couple guys. Okay. Okay, see that? Yeah, these drones can be dangerous. See how they come at you? That's why you want to try to, if they... A lot of times they will lunge at you before you even get a chance to shoot these guys, so it's good to sort of do that. I, was, I like sometimes looking out at the scenery out here. Shoot some weapons, okay? You can see it's a huge facility. And, uh, okay, there we go. I think we've got... Nope, we got to go through here. Okay, take a look at the map. Keep an eye on that mini-map. There's a drone, okay? I think this is going to be stage clear right here. I haven't had to use my special weapon, but let's go ahead and use it. There you can see that has a nice spread. Oh, somebody's shooting at us. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I missed him. And we took a hit. Okay, so that's kind of how you do this. Um, we've sort of cleared the first few levels, but that's basically, at a basic level, how you play the game. Okay, I'm uh, back. I jumped ahead a little bit because I wanted to show you a little trick on how to carry three weapons uh, into the next level, carry three special weapons. Now, keep in mind, uh, you may want to use uh, this weapon because it doesn't run out of ammo, especially if you're trying to save ammo. So you might be asking, well, how do I carry three weapons in the next level? Well, the nice thing about these special weapons is they don't disintegrate. They'll just stay here. So you can drop it at the beginning of the level and come back if you need it. So what I'm sh showing you here is I've just completed this level and I want to take this gun with me. Well, keep in mind, we get these guns on the wall the next level. So you can just drop it, take this with you. And we've got three weapons. You can carry two in this hand and one in this hand. So we've got three special weapons. And we don't need to worry about that. We can always pick that up in the next level. So let's go to the next level. We're taking all three special. So there's a little tip, you know, where you can... You don't have to lose one of your weapons because you can always get those wall weapons in the next level. So here we're going to go to the next level. And we're going to drop this now. And let's go pick this up. And there you go. We basically keep this weapon if we need it. And we can keep taking it to the next level. We can always, you know, if we're low on... Now, if you're not low on ammo, you don't care about ammo, we can just carry this with us. But this is a way that you can carry uh, three weapons to each level and still use this one because these ones are wall weapons so you always get them so always make sure you take all three of your weapons at the end of the level don't leave always leave this gun you don't need to worry about that because you'll be able to get it back on the next level it's a really little uh, little trick I've kind of developed and it will definitely help you out later on when you need you know you want to have three special weapons you may need it the other tip I want to make is uh, depending on if you're left handed or right handed but if you're right handed what I generally like to do is keep the weapons I need a little bit more accuracy with. So, for instance, this assault rifle, I like this. I need this one to, to be a little bit more accurate with, so I use this in my right hand because I'm right-handed. The shotgun, that's a little bit... I don't need to be quite as accurate with that, so I can carry that in my left hand. That's another tip I want to give you. Um, and this also goes, like, with the launchers. I usually put the launchers... In, if I, actually, I prefer a launcher, but if you don't have a launcher, I'll usually use a shotgun if I pick that up. So, I prefer to keep the launcher in my left hand and the assault rifles that require a little bit more accuracy uh, in my right hand, the two accurate weapons on my right hand. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Um, and once again, uh, it's a great game. I recommend you buy it on Steam. Hopefully, it eventually will be available on the Oculus Quest, too. We'll see. Um, I'm hoping they make that available, but right now I'm playing this through Airlink. Okay, thanks as always for watching.